Their terms of service are all bullshit. This is political censorship. This is the purge. Facebook cited language used to describe Muslims, transgenders, and immigrants. They provided zero specific examples as to what we said that was verboten. And neither did Apple, Spotify, or YouTube. But they're private companies. They can ban who they like. No. Facebook, Twitter, and Google have monopolized free speech online. They're a monopoly. They're also working directly with institutions of media. CNN whines all day about Trump threatening press freedoms, while simultaneously lobbying to have its competitors shut down by big tech. America's free press supports censorship. Big tech is colluding with leftist lawmakers on Capitol Hill. Democratic Congressman Ted Deutsch pressured YouTube and Facebook to ban InfoWars just a few weeks ago. Alex Jones obviously is a well-known conspiracy theorist theorist whose brand is bullying. Typically a channel gets three strikes and then we terminate the channel. Democratic Congressman Mike Quigley pressured Twitter to remove my tweets from trending hashtags and they did. On Twitter if you clicked on the hashtag NYC terrorist attack which is quote trending marked with a red button saying quote live the top tweet links to an Infowars story with the headline Imam I warned de Blasio about New York City at terror. He was too busy bashing Trump. But USA, you saw this. You, USA Today. At lunch, I did. Yeah, and, this, and I also saw the system, system correct it. As WikiLeaks tweeted, this is a global antitrust problem. This is cultural imperialism. So no, it's not just a private company. This is a handful of far-left hysterics in San Francisco framing legitimate criticism of mass immigration and Islam as hate speech. This is language policing. This is political censorship. They know Infowars played a key role in electing Trump. This is punishment for that. And this all happened three months before the midterms. This is election meddling. This is election rigging. This was all coordinated. They all banned Infowars within the same 12-hour period. That's big tech collusion. That's a total abuse of power. Now look at Apple's excuse for banning Infowars. According to Apple, if you don't respect people with different opinions, you will be banned. Does this mean it's necessary to respect people who advocate child marriage and honor killings just to have a platform? Because I don't respect those people. I don't respect people like Louis Farrakhan, who praised Adolf Hitler as, quote, a very great man. Presumably, Apple does, because his app and his broadcasts are still available on their platform. I don't respect Antifa, a group that violently attacks innocent people. But Antifa's pages, podcasts, and videos are rarely, if ever, banned on any platform. Now look at Wikipedia. Activist editors removing Sarah Jong's racist tweet controversy from her Wikipedia page, literally throwing the most important event in her career down an Orwellian memory hole. Literally attempting to change reality and hide history. That's what this is all about. And all you liberals orgasmically celebrating big business censoring independent media you're not liberals, you're authoritarians. Whether you hate Alex Jones is beside the point. Do you love the fact that a handful of tech monopolists have the power to simultaneously purge him from the internet? Forget the Supreme Court. Susan Wojcicki and Mark Zuckerberg are now de facto defining the parameters of the First Amendment. Big business monopolies as the ultimate judge, jury and executioner on free speech rights. And so-called liberals are jubilant. Conservatives who don't speak out against this, who hide and cower in the vain hope that they'll be spared. Well, guess what? You're next. While you desperately clamour for respect from leftists who hate you, while you vigorously defend the free speech rights of James Gunn and Sarah Jiang, an electronic wall is being built. We need congressional action now. We need a digital bill of rights. We need new laws that block big tech monopolies from discriminating against people based on their political opinions. But listen, you can smear us, defame us, ban us, sue us, in prisoners. It doesn't matter because the horse has already bolted. The worldwide populist surge cannot be muted. It cannot be unpublished. It cannot be unlisted. It cannot be deleted. Whatever you do, it cannot 